let me hit it. it. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Leave it to me. Goku, it's good to see you again. Honestly, you can't beat me. It's all or nothing. Let's go! Let's go! Start fighting seriously. <laughs> Ready? Go! Hmm. Right.
strange feeling to be face to face with my clone. Not just the face and form, but even its power is the same. Well, there's no better training partner than this, I suppose. If this thing has the same fighting style as me, I can use that to learn about my own weaknesses. That means... Beating you will mean I've surpassed my current self. I'll use you to push myself. To reach the next level as a martial artist. Bring it on! I'm ready! Standing in front of Piccolo's clone reminds me of when we fought him in the World Tournament. Though that was quite some time ago. Yeah, Piccolo's definitely changed a bunch since then, huh? He's not a bad guy anymore. <laughs> Indeed. He doesn't seem to have a shred of evil left in him anymore. Oh, by the way, did you know Piccolo babysits Pan when Gohan and his wife are out of the house? Isn't that neat? So convenient. He calms her down and changes her diapers. I hear he's pretty good at it. He even makes baby food for her. Definitely the perfect babysitter. P Piccolo changing diapers? I can't tell which one of you is actually Pan's grandfather anymore. Hey, you sound just like Chi-Chi. She says Piccolo makes a better grandpa than you. I don't think that's something you should be particularly proud of as Pan's actual grandfather. Listen, and I don't think you should go telling people that Piccolo is taking care of your granddaughter. Huh? Why is that? Uh, well, to protect Piccolo's image, I guess. His image? <coughs> let's end this conversation here, shall we? Yeah, let's take care of this Piccolo clone and show him who's Grandpa. Me! Hey, Tien. What do you think the chances are of us winning this fight, huh? This fight? Yeah. And I'm not just talking about the enemy that's right in front of us. I'm talking about this whole situation until it's all over. Good news is, our enemies are just as affected as us by the waves. So, we should all be at the same level. To put it simply, I'd say our chances are about 50-50. Yeah, that's what I thought. The waves are playing a huge role in this, huh? So, uh, I guess that means we shouldn't have to rely on Goku to take care of everything this time. Exactly. Let's show everyone what we can do. Here goes! Yeah! Whoa! What's up with the stink eye? Shut up. I don't want to hear anything out of you. <laughs> Looks like you're not my biggest fan. Of course. Don't think I've forgotten what you did to me and Chaozu. <laughs> like I care how you feel about me. I'm ready to take you on any time. Like right here, right now. After all these years, you're still the same mindless brute you've always been. What? Sorry, but I'm not going to fall for that taunt of yours. I'm not that foolish. And I wouldn't be too cocky if I were you. Goku and Vegeta are way out of your league now. Are you... Now you've gone and done it! You know who your real enemy is right now, don't you? Don't you? <laughs> Whatever. You're off the hook this time. But... I'll remember this, you free-eyed freak. Well, if it isn't Tien, I never thought the day would come when I'd get teamed up with a nobody like you. But this just keeps getting better. Still, I do have to commend you on your techniques. They're not as bad as I suspected. Although, someone of my skill is able to acquire all of them just by simply observing them. You can try to mimic my techniques all you want, but I'll keep training and improving. You hear me? I see. It seems you and I are more alike than I had first realized. We both seek ways to increase our strength. You think me and you are alike? Don't kid yourself. 
I use my techniques to better myself. I'm not twisted like you. I don't use them for vulgar entertainment and intimidation. <laughs> what a coincidence! I was just thinking that straight-faced attitude of yours is what's truly twisted. Oh, I'm sorry. Has what I've said really choked you up that much, Tien? Enough. There's no point in wasting my time talking to you anymore. I'll defeat all these enemies myself! What's up, Tien? You okay? You look a little upset. <sighs> of course I'm upset. You've teamed up with Frieza and those other villains, right? You guys don't seem bothered by that at all. Well... It was actually my idea. So it'd be pretty weird if I were bothered by it, I guess. <laughs> what? It was your idea? Goku... Have you forgotten what they did? Relax, Tien. You're always so serious. Take it easy once in a while. You're right, Tien. They're bad guys. But they're also crazy strong. So, like, we gotta take advantage of that. I mean, of course we'll have to watch our backs, but things will work out. <laughs> exactly! Sometimes you know just the right thing to say, Yamcha. Hey, what do you mean, sometimes? Anyway, Tien, that's pretty much it. We've just got to rely on these guys right now. I guess you're right. <laughs> I guess I'd forgotten how carefree you guys can be sometimes. All right! Now that Tien finally understands where we're coming from, let's get to fighting! What are we sitting around here for? Let's go! Well, I wouldn't say that. You know, there's something that's been bothering me. Will you be okay if we defeat the other 21? Hmm? Why is that? Well, you two were originally one, so if we defeat the other, you might... I was thinking the same thing myself. If you disappear along with her, then there's no need for us to go out of our way to defeat her. If it gets bad, we can always seal her away with the evil containment wave. Tien and I can use that technique, so maybe we should consider that option. She and I are completely different entities. If she were to perish, I would not. Though if our lives were indeed connected, then maybe things wouldn't be as bad as they are now. I understand how you feel, but don't be so hard on yourself. I feel a lot better now that we've talked. It's good to know that if we defeat the other 21, you won't disappear with her. Yeah. Hmm? What's wrong? Oh, nothing. I enough about me. We should concentrate on the battle ahead. I understand the link in theory, but in action, it feels so strange. I'm thankful to be able to fight, sure, but letting someone else do the work isn't exactly ideal. But I suppose that's my problem. Anyway, keep the help coming, and thanks. To continuously train and strive higher, that is the path of the martial artist. Even if one cannot move a finger, one mustn't forsake his daily discipline. Since it's just you and me, I might as well practice some meditation. Once this is all done and over with, I need to get stronger, like you. Believe it or not, it's more mental strength than physical that decides the fight. Even if your opponent is twice your size or more, one must stay focused and serene. From the looks of it, you need more work in that area. Build a heart of steel. I'll help you. I must say, T 
teaching you has taught me a few things too. For one thing, teaching's a lot harder than I thought. But now that I know, I can improve. Maybe the takeaway is that training's important, but passing knowledge on is essential as well. Since I owe you a debt of gratitude for teaching me these valuable lessons. Chouts is special. He's like my little brother and my disciple. I've fought countless battles with Goku and the others. But I'm definitely closest with Chouts. Still, as far as being literally linked to someone goes, you're the first. I guess that makes us pretty close too. It's even deeper than Chouts' bond. <laughs> Life is weird, isn't it? They say a fighter's personality shows in one's fists. You're no exception. You've made your opponents look inward. And changed their lives for the better. Not bad. Of course, that doesn't apply to everyone. It's a remarkable gift, much like Goku's. He did the same for me long ago. I ended up betraying my master because of that. But I wouldn't change a thing. Walk your own path with confidence. You'll do just fine. I've been meaning to ask. How's the life of a martial artist treating you? You've got potential. And you're a hard worker to boot. If you find a master and devote yourself to training, I guarantee you'll go far. Once you've gotten strong enough, drop by and we'll go a few rounds. Maybe Goku's personality is finally starting to rub off on me, but I must say, watching you fight gives me goosebumps. If you need, I can ask Master Roshi to take you in. Give it some thought. It might be worth your time. <laughs>